हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट अवर न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर फिफ्थ विंड्स सी हियर इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट विंड्स एंड एयर फर्स्टली सी वी फील द विंड बट वी कैनॉट सी इट येस वी कैन फील विंड विंड मीन्स द मूविंग एयर वी कैन फील इट बट वी कैनॉट सी इट वेन सर्टन ऑब्जेक्ट इन अवर सराउंडिंग मूव वी एक्सपीरियंस विंड येस वेन If there is some object surrounding us, are moving, then we can say there is a wind. Now, what is wind? Wind is nothing but moving air. As we know that there in our surrounding, we know that in an atmosphere of earth there is a air, some air pressure also there. And when this air is move, we can say that this is wind. Now, see why does air move? now why air is moving because we know that in earth on atmosphere of a earth there are air pressures exerted on atmosphere as air pressure is not same everywhere on earth some of low air pressure some of high air pressure in this thing when there is low air pressure in one place and higher air pressure in another place then the air of higher pressure is moving towards lower pressure so this is the movement of air and we say that this is wind okay let's see try this this is one activity for you student see fold a paper into two same size roll see like this keep both the paper rolls on one side of table you and your friend should select one roll each and without touching to the roll what can be done to move the paper rolls on the other end of the table yes if we give if we blow air the roll will be pass over the table see see who moves the paper roll first to the other end of the table obviously who gives more amount of air who blows more amount of air this roll will be passed over first and another will be delay what can we do more to the roll to the other end of the table with a greater speed we have to blow greater speedly air then it will move speedily can a bottle filled with water be moved to the other end of the table in this manner no because bottle having more weight as compared to this paper roll can we use the same method that you tie for moving a paper rolls no obviously not because bottle filled with water having large amount of weight and that's why we cannot to blow air and pass that bottle over the table some geographical explanation for this see here we have learned that the air pressure is not uniform across the earth surface yes we know that on the everywhere of earth air pressure is not same some of place it is low pressure some of high pressure now see air moves from high pressure areas towards the low pressure areas yes as i tell you earlier that higher pressure areas air is moving towards lower pressures areas now see see given figure this is the figure of change in direction of winds let's see we know that on the earth surface there are low pressure belt as well as high pressure belt because of air is not uniform air pressure is not uniform across the earth surface now you can see this is the moving air because of see here low pressure high pressure and that's why from high pressure air is moving towards the low pressure same in this belt you can see that upper side low pressure here is high pressure so from high pressure air is moving towards low pressure this is the direction of winds okay now you can see in this figure that this is the main direction as we can consider that air is move from high pressure to low pressure but in blue color line this is the actual moving of air 
Now see, first we seen that how low pressure, high pressure belt is formed and then we can see what is the changing direction of this air. Okay, so let's see first the movement of air from high pressure to low pressure. Next page. Winds are generated due to this movement. As air is moved horizontally, winds are generated. The extent of difference in the air pressure affects the velocity of wind. If there is a less difference in air pressure, winds blow with less velocity. See, when there is a high difference in lower pressure and higher pressure, then velocity of wind is also greater. But if the difference between air pressure of to that place is very less, then the velocity also less. Winds blow with greater velocity if the pressure difference is greater. Wind speed also varies. Wind velocity is measured in the units of knots or kilometer per hour. As we know that, we, we know that as in earlier figure, we see that the pressure belt is occurs on earth's surface, right? Some is high pressure belt, some is low pressure belts. Now let's study about these pressure belts. We see that the equatorial pressure belt is a low pressure belt. See here, this is the equatorial low pressure belts between 5 degree towards north pole and 5 degree towards south pole. Between 5, 5 degree there is equatorial low pressure belt. Above this, there is mid latitudinal high pressure belt and exactly below mid latitudinal high pressure belt. Both side, both hemisphere. The range of mid latitudinal high pressure belt is between 35 degree to 25 degree towards north pole and same here 25 degree to 35 degree south pole. Now see, the upper pressure belt is subpolar low pressure belt. Same northern hemisphere also and southern hemisphere also. Subpolar low pressure belt. And the range of subpolar low pressure belt is between 55 degree to 65 degree. Same as above side. Okay. And the last one is polar winds. Polar winds. It is between 80 degree to 90 degree to the northern hemisphere and to the southern hemisphere. So, these are pressure belts occurs on earth surface. Now, let's see as we see that from high pressure, see this is high pressure and this is low pressure. So, the air moving from high pressure to low pressure. But as we consider the direction of air of moving from high to low is exactly vertical, but this not happen. While moving air, it little but change this direction. It little change its direction. That means, see, if we give direction here, this is north side, this is south side, this is west side and this is east. Okay, now see, you can see here that the pressure, here is a low pressure belt and upper side high, high pressure belt. Now consider in southern hemisphere, from high pressure belt to the low pressure belts, winds are moving from southern to west side, from south side to west side. That means the direction is like this. And from upper side in a northern hemisphere, you can see that from mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt, the air is moving from north side to the west side. That means like this. Okay, now let's see in a chart. First, when we consider the earth as a whole, we find the direction of winds is influenced by the rotation of earth. Now see, this is the reason why air change its direction. While moving in a straight line, it change its direction and it is because of rotation of earth. 
in the northern hemisphere winds get deflected towards the right of their original direction whereas in the southern hemisphere they get deflected towards the left their origin direction this direction has been shown by curve arrows in the figure then the rotation from west to the east causes this change in the original direction of the winds now see while moving in a straight line airs move in a slanting line that is from that side and from this side now see from this some questions are there which are the winds in the northern hemisphere that blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belts c there are types of winds called easterlies and westerlies now c westerlies are originate from west side and moving towards east side and easterlies are that winds who originate from east side and moving towards west side so these are two types of winds called easterlies and westerlies now see which are the winds in the northern hemisphere that blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt see in the northern hemisphere from mid latitudinal to equatorial are easterlies so the first answer is easterlies now the second question is what is the direction of the westerlies in the southern hemisphere here are westerlies and this is southern hemisphere so the southern hemisphere westerlies are directed from west to the east what is the direction of westerlies okay this is done now which planetary winds blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to sub polar low pressure belt in northern hemisphere in northern hemisphere from mid latitudinal to sub polar are westerlies that is originated from west and towards east now last one why is the direction of a polar winds not same in both the hemisphere see but polar winds having not same direction why this happen because due to the rotation of earth this is changes occurs in direction of polar winds okay now the next question name the winds that blow in southern hemisphere obviously easterlies westerlies and polar winds in which direction do the easterlies blow in northern and southern hemisphere now see easterlies blow in northern hemisphere from east to west and in the southern hemisphere easterlies from east to west so student as we know that winds are known by the direction from which they blow such as easterlies westerlies and polar winds polar winds are originated from polar region so called polar winds easterlies are originated from east side towards west side so known as easterlies and westerlies are the winds that originate from west side to the east so it is westerlies so these winds are regularly moving from high pressure belt to the low pressure belt throughout the year and this air cover large portion of earth surface that's why this air that's moving air that means winds are important for us and we call these winds as a planetary winds because they cover large portion of earth hence we call these winds as a planetary wind for example as easterlies westerlies and polar winds so this is the explanation about this diagram 